Dataminer President of Government Business Dana Barnes recently shared his thoughts with GovCon Wire about the executive order on the responsible use of artificial intelligence, where he'd like to see federal legislation on AI go next, company ventures of note, and much more in this Spotlight interview. The much-anticipated CIO Summit, from Potomac Officers Club, returns for its fifth iteration on Wednesday, April 17, with the DoD's Leslie Beavers as opening keynote speaker. Mark your calendars and register now to learn about the priorities of federal CIOs and how industry can best respond and collaborate. Xenia Klevitsky, former Chief Growth Officer at Edgewater Federal Solutions, has joined C Beyond Data as CGO responsible for driving the professional services company's business expansion strategy. Dan Ontal, General Counsel for Rolls-Royce Defense in North America, will rejoin Lidos in the same capacity on April 1st. The Department of Defense's Washington Headquarters Services has released a request for proposals for a potential five-year, $1.5 billion recompete contract to provide IT and cybersecurity support services for the Office of the Chief Information Officer at DOD. Roger Wells, formerly Executive Vice President and Head of the Microelectronics Division at Mercury Systems, has been named Chief Operating Officer at the Andover, Massachusetts-based Defense Technology Supplier. A higher Gov analysis of government contracting activity showed that federal contracts awarded in fiscal year 2023 reached a record high of $765 billion, reflecting a 9.5% growth from FY 2022. Boeing has secured a $102.7 million contract modification to help the U.S. Navy modernize the anti-submarine warfare capabilities of its P-8A Maritime Patrol and Reconnaissance Aircraft Fleet. Join Potomac Officers Club's 10th Annual Defense R&D Summit on January 31, 2024. Visit PotomacOfficersClub.com slash events. Balin Iyer, founder and CEO of software developer Percipient.ai, has joined the board of directors of Circo. Advanced Technology International will manage the Defense Industrial Base Consortium under another transaction agreement the Department of Defense awarded to the nonprofit research institution.